Hello, hello, YouTube friends. So today I'm gonna try something a little different. I got an amazing question from one of my viewers and I wanted to answer it for you on video. So here's the question from Brian. I love following you on Instagram. Thank you. And I saw that you just did a 10 day digital detox without social media or email. I was really inspired by that. I might wanna do a digital detox myself. Yes. How was your digital detox? How can I do one? And how do I do one if my job is very tech focused? So I did just do a 10 day digital detox and it took probably 10 weeks of prep and I highly encourage you to do one. Here's how it kind of came about. So a couple of years ago, I decided I needed to do a vow of silence. I have a little confession to make. I tend to be an interrupter. And the reason for that is because I get so scared of an awkward silence that I fill it with my words and then I interrupt someone's thought. And I thought, the only way that I can stop this horrible habit is to go cold turkey and to just practice listening. So a couple of years in a row, I did vows of silence. You can check out that video here. Highly recommend you do one of those as well. The issue is now I'm a mom and I thought it would be horribly unfair to do a vow of silence around my one-year-old daughter. What's the next best thing? A digital detox. Here's the very first step for you. The thing that you have to think of is, what do you want to detox from? So for me, I noticed I was getting into this horrible habit Anytime I was in line, anytime I was in an Uber, anytime I had a free second, I would check my Instagram or my Twitter or my Facebook or my YouTube, and it was filling up all of my empty space, my creative time, my brainstorming time. So the first thing I want you to think of is, what are you hooked to? Is there a digital channel or something that you're constantly checking without even thinking about it? That's the first thing you wanna detox from. The second thing is to actually fill the void. What I mean by that is the biggest problem that people have with detoxing is that they try to cut something out and then they have nothing to replace it with. It's like saying, I'm gonna stop eating all bad food but not have a replacement for what you could eat. So here's a really important step. Find something that you want to do instead of that item you're trying to detox from. So for me, I decided all I wanted to do without empty time was family time, deep conversation time, brainstorming time. And so we decided to go all the way to Alaska, the beautiful state of Alaska, and just spend time in wilderness. This also made it, easy, made it easier because there was no Wi-Fi anywhere, so it made it really easy to cut the habit. The third thing you wanna do is commit loudly. What I mean by this is it's hard to do a detox. And sometimes your friends are like, where were you on Instagram? Or why weren't you texting me back? I highly recommend making a big announcement. Be like this crazy lady on YouTube, Vanessa Vay Edwards, she inspired me to do digital detox. And then tell everyone how long, what you're cutting out and what your goal is. Last thing here, Brian asked a really good question. How do I do this if I have a techie job? So one, you can absolutely do a digital detox during a vacation, but you also might think about limiting one mode of communication that still allows you to do your job. I highly recommend getting buy-in from your boss. Talk to your manager, say, hey, you know, I do email for my job, but would you be okay if I got off social media or if I got off Slack or if I got off chat for a week? That way you're cutting out one mode to see what fills the space. That's the best part of a detox. The thing that I had that happened to me was that all of a sudden I had these new ideas. I had creative ideas. I had amazing conversations with my family. My daughter said a new word, duck. It was all very exciting. I know exciting things will happen for you if you try this. I highly recommend getting the courage to detox from one thing that's got you hooked. Be sure to subscribe at scienceevil.com to join me on my next digital detox or vow of silence.